Let's uh, turn now to the forecast and we had some rain rumbling through here overnight, Josh. We did and most of it's now east of Columbus. So viewers in the eastern portions of the 10 TV viewing area still dealing with some of that rain. But for most of us, we'll be seeing nice improvements as we head through this Tuesday morning. Here's a look at live Doppler 10 radar. You see most of that rain across the eastern third of the state. Our viewers in the Cambridge area still dealing with some of that rain. You see light rain in the northern portions of Guernsey County. Also, as you travel south, of Cambridge, Morgan County, McConnellsville. You folks waking up to a little bit of light rain this morning. Same goes for portions of Athens County. And this is going to continue pushing eastward as we head through the morning. So you'll only be dealing with this here for the next half hour to an hour after that shouldn't encounter too many problems. And you do notice dry conditions right now in central Ohio. Can't completely rule out an additional shower this morning, but I think better chances for that rain will hold off until this afternoon. Temperatures once again in the 60s and 70s, so it's another muggy start to the day, just like yesterday. 72 right now in Columbus, 70 in Marion, 70 in Newark, 68 in Zanesville, 68 in Bell Fountain, and we have 73 right now in Chillicothe. We'll start off this morning with some clouds, but you'll notice decreasing clouds as we head through the morning into the afternoon. The computer model here showing that cloud cover starting to break up a bit by late morning, early afternoon. Now, as we head through the afternoon hours, that's when we'll see that next chance for storms to develop. I think the best window for that opportunity will be between about two, five o'clock this afternoon. This model shows some of those showers and storms to the north of Columbus at three o'clock, impacting places like Marysville, Delaware, maybe Mount Vernon spread southeast as we head through the afternoon. So by four or five o'clock working across the Columbus metro area and it will continue pushing off to the southeast. So if you have plans to grill out this evening, you might encounter a few brief showers or storms. I don't think they'll stick around for too long by about six, seven o'clock. They should be out of the picture. As you make some plans for today, 71 degrees at 8 o'clock, clouds to start, decreasing clouds for the afternoon. We're at 80 degrees at the noon hour, 84 degrees at 4 o'clock with that chance for some scattered storms. You notice these storms continue pushing southeast as we head into the evening by 7 o'clock out of the picture. Cold front swings through and will bring some relief from all of the muggy and humid conditions we've been dealing with. We'll wake up to morning lows tomorrow in the 50s, so feeling nicer tomorrow. 59 the morning low in Columbus, 57 for Mount Vernon, 60 to start the day in Lancaster. We'll see a chance for some showers and storms tomorrow morning. Better chances as we head into the afternoon, and we're somewhat concerned about this potential right here because it's possible we could see some strong to severe storms by late in the day tomorrow, looking at the possibility of hail, damaging wind, and can't completely rule out some tornadic activity as we head into the evening hours tomorrow. So that's something we'll be tracking closely, moves out of the picture by Thursday morning. For today, north of Columbus, low to mid 80s, 83 for Marion, 84 for Delaware. For the Columbus metro area, low to mid 80s as well. 84 in downtown Columbus this afternoon, 84 for Gahanna, 85 for Grove City. South of Columbus, mid 80s, 84 for Circleville, 84 the high today in Piketon. Here's your seven day forecast, 80 on Wednesday with showers and storms. Again, some of them strong to severe. Chance for that rain in the morning Thursday, but nice conditions to wrap up the work week and head into the weekend.